I want to talk about the Canelo Mafia that were all over my comments coming at me because I said that Canelo should be ashamed of himself if he does not fight David Benavides this year and fights Terrence Crawford and Jamal Charlo instead. First off, I see why Canelo's the face of boxing because his fans are just so relentless and they will defend him no matter what. It's almost like he's a member of their family or something. I'm like, what is like... Like one guy said, like, Canelo should do it because he makes more money. I'm like, do you make money if Canelo makes money? Like, are you getting, like, a percentage of the pay cut? Like, payday? Like, I would love to know that. I, I seriously doubt that. And another guy said something like, um, he could do what he wants. Like, he's up to him who he wants to choose to fight. I'm aware Canelo can legally fight whoever he wants to fight. I am aware of that. Thank you for informing me. That wasn't my point. Uh, and also, it, it, it's just funny how... People are coming at me saying I'm this massive Canelo hater. I could tell a lot of these people it was their first time seeing any of my videos, which I appreciate, by the way. And I appreciate everyone who commented. I love the dialogue, and I'm okay with anything. Don't worry about the insults and this that. It's cool. But I have defended Canelo a lot of times. For example, when Teddy Atlas said Canelo's not even a top 10 Mexican boxer of all time, I said that was ridiculous. He's either one or two. It's Canelo and Chavez at the top of Mexican boxing. And I even said I think Canelo's resume is a little bit better than Chavez's resume. It's close, but I think it is. I know Canelo had some close calls and stuff, and, you know, that's a part of it. I, I get that. But but Chavez did too. He had some fortunate ones too. But it, it, it's, it's close. But the reason why I said that I want Canelo to fight David Benavides, it's not some kind of agenda. It's not me wanting to see him lose. And, and by the way, for the record, I would pick Canelo to beat David Benavides. So... Just so people are like, on oh, some like, you're anti-Canelo, I'm not. In boxing and in sports and in life, you want to see the best fight the best in everything. We got a Super Bowl coming up here in America between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. You want to see the game because you want to see who's the best NFL team this year. That That's what it is. It's like that in boxing. And I'm like that in all weight classes. When you have two guys who the public thinks are clearly the two best guys which is what they think with Canelo and David Benavides in their weight class. You want, I want to see the fight. I want to know who really is the best. And also, on top of that, the fight is a great fight from a stylistic standpoint, not just from a you know, um, hierarchy standpoint, but from a head-to-head -head standpoint. And it's like this in every weight class, in heavyweight boxing. I want to see Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. Those are the two best guys. Let's see who's the best. I want to see in light heavyweight, Dimitri Bivol versus Artur Berbiev. Those are the two best guys. Let's see it. The public wanted to see Earl Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford Jr. <laughs> the public got it. Like, I, that, that we want to see who's the best. You know, when there is a number one, which is what Canelo is right now, and there is a clear number two, which is David Benavides, who's threatening. He's a legitimate threat. I don't care what anybody says. He's a legit threat to Canelo. I want to see the best fight the best. It's not so deep. I don't know why people make it like boxing more complicated than it has to be. It's really not that complicated. It's not. Um, and I've even defended Canelo for not fighting Benavides in the past because that was on Benavides. It was Benavides' fault why he lost those titles on the scale and with cocaine. And the cocaine one, I think, was first. And, and Canelo was winning the belts. He was beating Callum Smith, Abney Ildrum, that was mandatory, Billy Joe Saunders, and then Caleb Plant, and I defended him fighting John Ryder because that was a mandatory. But was Jermel Charlo necessary taking a guy from two weight classes lower? No. You know, fighting Terrence Crawford, a guy who's three weight classes lower, is that going to be something that I'm going to respect? No, it's not. Like, it's not. I don't want to hear this nonsense about, like, weight classes don't matter. They do matter. Because if it doesn't matter, then Inouye should fight Crawford. And, and Canelo should fight Usyk if, if weight doesn't matter. You know, when has a guy ever moved up three weight classes and beaten another pound-for-pound -pound fighter? I've never even heard of such a thing. It's, it's never happened before. You know, the, the craziest jumps you could say are like Roy Jones. He went from light heavyweight to heavyweight to, to beat John Ruiz. Or Michael Spinks went from light heavyweight to heavyweight to beat Larry Holmes. Or one weight class, you know, maybe. I know there was cruiserweight when Roy Jones did it. But, but maybe, you know, three and you're fighting Canelo? What plan are people in? I saw some dude online saying something like, um, Sugar Ray Leonard beat Donnie Lalon. First of all, Sugar Ray Leonard was already at that point around that weight, 168 pounds, and Donnie Lalon's not Canelo. So just just ridiculous. 
And some of you Canelo fans are just crazy. I, I, I see why he's really in the position he's in. And this is the problem with boxing. When you have fans like that who are so loyal, it's great for Canelo. But what happens is they just accept anything he does. And that's why we don't get the fights that we want. And it's not just Canelo fans. It's fans of a lot of guys. Javante Davis, like they're tolerant, Javante Davis, of him fighting guys who are not, like, they're not worthy of these, like, big fights. Like, like Javante Davis versus um, Leo Santa Cruz, moving him up a weight class. Okay, Javante Davis, uh, Hector Garcia, moving him up a weight class. Weight training Barrios, you know, with a rehydration clause. Okay, fine. The catchway versus Ryan Garcia. Like, all these things, you know, that people are tolerant of. Like, Javante Davis versus um, Hector Garcia is not a pay-per-view fight. Like, it's not. And that's why it bombed. Javante Davis versus, uh, I don't know, like, they'll try to do a fight with him, you know, him and, uh, him and Roley was good, that was interesting, but, like, these kind of fights are not of the caliber that they want to make them out to be, but it's like that with, with a lot of guys, I'm sure it's like that with Anthony Joshua, too, in England, like, certain guys just can't do any wrong, and their fans will eat up anything they do, but it, it's just so crazy, I, I mean, I don't understand what is so complicated. I want to see the best fight the best. Canelo, you're the best at 168. Benavidez is right now the second best. I want to see, can number two beat number one? That's it. Very simple. Uh, and I think that, you know, that triggers Canelo fans so much. Uh, it's like you're attacking him personally. Like, I, I don't get it, you know. Canelo is great, but he has been slipping in recent years. And he has been fighting easier competition. And maybe Benavidez is young and hungry and can get it. And someone else said something in the comments. He said, Canelo's legacy is set. He has nothing else to do. I disagree with that. I don't think his legacy is set. I think it's debatable if he's the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. Debatable. If he beats Benavides, I think for me, that's like, all right, he's got it. He's the greatest Mexican of all time. Some guys will never admit it because Chavez is Chavez and you can't surpass Chavez. He's one of those guys in Mexico that you can't surpass. If he never fights David Benavides, his legacy will always be that. There will be that what if. And it would have been the same thing if he never fought Triple G. What if he would have fought the biggest threat at that time? And Benavides has earned his shot. He beat Plant, he beat Durrell, and he he beat Morel, uh, not Morel, um, David Lemieux, and he beat uh, Demetrius Andrade. He's earned his shot. It's not like we're just picking some guy who who's random. So Canelo Alvarez should fight Benavides this year if he cares about legacy. And people will say all he cares about is the money. I saw someone say that in the comments. Oh, it's all about the money. Really? Okay. If it's just about the money, why doesn't Canelo fight Jake Paul next? He can make more money fighting Jake Paul than Jamal Charlo. I think so. Why doesn't he just fight Conor McGregor, you know, or, or an MMA guy next? Which is what he was against doing, fighting Masvidal when he was with DAZN on DAZN pay-per-view with that big contract that he had. And that was one of the reasons why they, they had the, the buyout because they didn't agree to like these cross, you know, boxing MMA matches. If it's just about money, fight Jake Paul. Jake Paul will take the fight, and it'll do over a million pay-per-views because that's not what he's interested in. He's interested in fighting other top guys. He's not interested in just the money. So stop saying it's just about the money because it's not. Anyways, this is what I think. I want to see number one fight number two, Canelo versus Benavidez. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.